create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Libra. Thank you for being here. I hope you are having a wonderful day, Libra. Um, my name is Elle. Let's get into it, okay? Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Libra, before we start, I want to shout out some of the places that I am seeing that I have high viewership, okay? So some of those places are, um, I think it was uh, LA, New York, Chicago, Houston, Atlanta, Philly, London, and Dallas. So thank you to all who view in those places. Hello. Uh, drop where you are viewing from down in the comment section, all right? So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra. We'll see what the situation is. We'll get some uh, some external energy from you, some advice, and then some future energy. Let's see what is going on for Libra. When I was shuffling off camera for you, uh, meditating, what I got was something about a house and then a handout. So handout house, I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so we've got the Six of Cups. You could have children or um, family members or Something about childhood here. You could even be dealing with a Scorpio here. Someone could be childish. When you have conversations about maybe relationships, about balance, about harmony or getting back in harmony, it always turns into maybe a, a childish argument because somebody's inability to, you know, they don't have emotional um, maturity here. It's also about maybe some of you just want to get back to simpler times with your family, family life, with your children here. Something about the home. Some of you could be empty nesters. Let's see what's going on here for Libra. What's happening for Libra? Okay, so we've got the um, page of swords in reverse. So there is, it's like somebody shut you out, okay? Or you feel shut out. You feel like something is cut off. Yeah, with the uh, page of swords or you've cut someone off um, you're not even looking at them. So the page of swords upright would be to be spying, asking around, maybe um, maintaining. Um, oh, OK, so this is definitely no talking. OK, because in the page of swords upright, it talks about we're going to reduce the. Uh, opportunity to have conversation because it turns into argument pettiness so somebody's saying i'm not talking to you at all because it turns into pettiness drama argument it can even be with a child someone you live with in the home um it could be childhood trauma but what is going on here for libra okay the uh night oh no no this is the uh ace of pentacles And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. So it looks like here definitely got a lot of Scorpio energy. So we've got somebody deep in their emotions here or needing to dive deep. There needs to be a conversation held 
in regards to maybe a child, children, it's someone you have significant history with. Maybe you grew up with or something about the home or they lived in your home definitely could be a child. It could be anyone. Something about handout or handout or someone feels as if they deserve something or they deserve money or repayment. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. We've got to clarify this. It's like no communication and then Ace of Pentacles. Somebody coming into self-actualization, realizing that they can actually do something. The highest level of, uh, you know, psychologically of understanding your true potential. So it's like before you can actually do something, before you can say, oh, I can go and be an astronaut or a fireman or a doctor, you have to really in your mind psychologically know that you can do it that you can be, that you can achieve this it's the highest level of psychological development therefore you can do therefore you can self-actualize you can actually do it it's like a coming of age here or somebody's coming to a point where they're realizing that they can actually do it for themselves they can actually um, make it happen for themselves they can actually live on their own they can actually pay their own bills they can actually Something about self-actualization. It's also about putting something to rest. But it also is about reviving. Reviving. I don't know what. It's like um, a lot of different energies going on here. Um, Libra. I'm going to pull one more card. What is going on here? It's like somebody cut a string or cut a tie. So that they can go and do. Somebody may have even decided that, you know, I'm going to have to cut off family or loved one, whomever it may be, so that I can actually have, I can actually do, I can actually be strong on my own. Yeah, the temperance card. So somebody is definitely, you know, in a place of taking the middle ground. Somebody is understanding that, you know, change doesn't happen by you know, happenstance, you know, change happens because you change or something changes. So somebody is definitely put some change here, change something. Definitely. Mm, this is like mitigating tough waters, tough, tough circumstances. So Libra, this is, could even be somebody taking the middle ground or middle road or, um, trying to have a happy marriage or a happy life. Oh, this could even be somebody trying to have a happy life. Therefore, they felt like they needed to put something to rest, put it to bed, be done with something. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So it's just like somebody feeling like, okay, I got to cut something out or cut it off or cut it short or put some distance, put some time, some space between me and you so that I can actually do, I can actually go and have. Let's see what is external, the external energy, Libra. What's the external energy? This looks like somebody wants a new life. So they cutting off old things or cutting off old people. Or they really, the outdated, outworn, outworn like loyalty. Like I was loyal to this person or doing this thing because I thought maybe I couldn't do it by myself or it felt good doing it with others or somebody's now over that or they're getting over it. Or someone is, yeah, making steps, making strides to being done with that. I'll see what this is. The Ten of Pentacles can't make it up. So somebody may even be cutting out family. So this is when you are loyal to the legacy, to the empire that you built. You're not even loyal to the person or the people anymore. You're more loyal to what you built between one another. So somebody is coming to a place of understanding. I don't have to be loyal to that anymore. I can walk away from that. I can do my own thing. I can be my own man, my own woman. I can live my own life. I don't have to, you know, be loyal to family just because they're family. We share the same bloodstream, bloodline, um, ancestry. I can cut this off because it's not doing me any good or it's not you know bringing me satisfaction it doesn't you know it doesn't feel good what's external to libra here knight of cups so we've got a uh, scorpio aquarius here uh, we've got somebody who could be in a creative um state of being someone who gets uh downloads energy uh 
vibration from the universe, from spirit. We've got somebody who's romantic or in love or in love with being in love. We got somebody here could be a young person under the age of 35. Let's see. What is what is external to Libra? The Hierophant. Okay. Um, you know, the knights are under the Hierophant's guidance. So the Hierophant is guiding the knight. Well, this is what is external to you. Somebody has been led to do, led to go, led to say. A three of cups. Okay, so this could have something to do with sibling. This could have something to do with neighbors. This could have something to do with union or reunion. This is somebody external to you. This somebody's getting a lot of victory, a lot of satisfaction, triumph, success in their life. Somebody is laundering something commercial success here. There's somebody who has like a spiritual business. Um, there's somebody who has been like they, they create law order, you know, in the earth, on the earth here. They uh, create uh, law and order out of chaos, out of drama. Um, this is a young person, though. It's like an energy where somebody feels like somebody is getting away from them or they've gotten away or this is the one that's gotten away or someone feels like I got to do something big monumental to pull the person back in or we need to do something together in order to ground the, the relationship or the connection uh, I need to communicate how I feel this could be in regards to how somebody feels about you how they need to pull you back because we did have an energy of somebody kind of drawing back or taking a step back or cutting off too much communication or um, cutting off the lines of communication something about house a uh, home and then hand um so hand talks about what we do right we do stuff with our hand and then our home is our sanctuary our safe place i don't know if somebody felt like they gave somebody a handout or a home or house to sleep or shelter and then they they went away or they took it away or they separated themselves or they went and got their own or they've come into a place of thinking that they can do it by themselves external is somebody they were led to do something this could be you libra it could be someone else let's see um what the advice is for you this is an interesting energy this could just be like somebody coming of age or coming to a place of understanding that they can do something by themselves. They can have their own business. They can do their own thing. They don't need to be with anyone. They don't need to have someone. They don't need this. Um, but it's also somebody feeling withdrawal. Um, they're feeling maybe even isolated now that this person is gone. Um, somebody wants someone to make a snap decision in regards to, you know, uh, coming back or talking or talking it out. What is the advice for Libra here? Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Six of Swords. So um, you need to express how you feel. This is not telling somebody that you love them. This is somebody who wants a relationship back. They want to have a successful, committed relationship with someone not sure of how to get it back. Because... They can't feel this person. They can't talk to them. They don't know where they live or they want to. So somebody doesn't. OK, somebody doesn't know where somebody lives or someone doesn't know. Um, yeah. How to get in contact, how to give the hand or give a hand or give something or. Yeah, make something work. The advice here is the six of swords. So sometimes this is about leaving something alone. You know, the best uh, option now is to chart a new path to success, to peace, to tranquility, leave it alone. Um, this is also, uh, you know, moving away from the headache of a previous connection. But this is what someone has done. This is the advice here, the tower. Libra, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Got a lot of Scorpio energy here. So Scorpio, Pluto. So it's about maybe power. So somebody took their power back, okay? They were giving it to someone else and now somebody has taken it back. Therefore, the other person is feeling without or feeling powerless or they're feeling like something is cut off or um, yeah, they're shunned or they're out or there's an outcast. Therefore, now somebody wants, 
you know, reconciliation, reunion, a coming back together, wanting the person to, um, somebody could be even be guided to come back to somebody, um, make amends, apologize, give a gift. Um, maybe that's why we have the hand showing up. The advice here is the tower. Let things kind of fall apart, kind of like the six of swords in the rubble, in the midst of things falling down, you'll find truth. And then maybe you can rebuild in the correct manner. This is a situation that has historical reference though. Like it's got history here. This isn't out of the blue. This isn't, oh my God, they're leaving me or they don't want to talk to me or they, they cut off or they shut me out for no reason. No, this has a historical reference. So you, this is a deep rooted, deep seated energy here. Cause the six of cups here also. So, um, this is the advice, but okay. And the last card of advice, the page of wands, once you allow for the breakdown to happen, um, then you're going to get, um, yeah. Once you allow for the breakdown to happen, uh, Libra or someone does this in their life, they're going to come out renewed, refreshed, a new person made a new, um, happy, you know, ready to explore, ready to partner, uh, on fire, uh, living life on their own terms, doing their own thing, promotion, success, all of the above, you know, just happiness. It's like somebody needs to, so there's an energy of somebody needing to have a conversation with a particular person. Therefore we can clear the air and we can move on. Then there's also an energy of somebody wants someone to return, resurface, come back, don't leave. Um, there's an energy of somebody wanting the successful connection or relationship and they're being guided maybe to reconcile, to make the first, uh, or take the first step here. Let's see what the future holds. Yeah. It looks like once you let something go, the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck could be dealing with a Piscean or a Sagittarius, um, change happens maybe with a masculine energy, you know, something else turns or a turn of events or you can um, get the opportunity to the, the universe aligns opportunity for you to take necessary action, but not before you allow for a breakdown to happen so that there can be breakthrough. It's like maybe something had to break down so that you guys can come back together. Somebody put distance time between you and them or this is what you did libra i'm not sure what's the future energy for libra future energy for libra okay yeah so somebody's gonna come into more spirituality understanding themselves um wishes hopes dreams coming into fruition this could be happening for a mature woman here or you may get sage advice from a mature woman uh, when she's next to you, it looks like um, definitely you're going to find some balance. Um, this could even be somebody turning their own path and going their own way. This could even be somebody just letting it all fall down. Somebody was holding something up, maybe a marriage, a connection, or holding someone up. Let's see. Yeah, false person. All right, so these two together, not, not the best. Okay, so watch out for it maybe in a mature woman because she's coming with uh, under her under false pretense her own agenda ulterior motive not the best person a thief a liar theft happens in so many different ways not just me going in your purse and taking your money but me stealing your time your energy your essence lying to you so that you can stay because we do have that energy here main male coming out so we may have an energy where somebody's holding up a divine connection, the yin yang energy here with somebody else because for their own, um, their own doing or their own will or, or the, their own false pretense. Okay. Yeah. We've got somebody here who wants, we've got maybe a woman here who wants to keep a man in her life because he offers stability. Okay. Uh, financially you know, foundation. But then we have another energy. It could be a male here 
who wants to let something go, who wants to let it all fall down and maybe even go somewhere else and court date, do something with someone else. We've got somebody hanging in there, holding on for the children or because uh, we grew up together or we have this significant history or whatnot. Therefore, but they're cut off from something or someone that they really want. We also have somebody here. That's why we had a house and then we had a hand. Somebody's already in a relationship, but they want to offer something else to someone else. Point blank period. There's also somebody wanting to resurface in somebody's life, but they don't even know how to get in contact or how to make initial contact. The universe is guiding them to come towards this person and uh, reach out you know, extend the hand. This is what I have for you, Libra. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. What part resonated for you? Um, is there somebody trying to reach out, come back to you? Or is there someone holding you back so that you can't go to the next person? Let me know how it all works and plays out for you. Um, has somebody, is somebody trying to sever ties of this outdated loyalty? This maybe with a Virgo, we had the 10 of Pentacles come out. Let me know how it works out for you, how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, also, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a business minded uh, individual and you want to connect with other business minded individuals in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual community, um, go ahead and join the KTMG a conference call. It's a monthly conference call that we have and you get valuable information on how to either start your entrepreneurial endeavor or to continue. And you get to connect with other business minded people um, on that conference call. The link is below. Okay. If you want to take advantage of that, you can also book your discovery call so that um, if you want to connect with me in regards to how to start your own business, what can you do? What can you do to grow your business if you've already started your business? Okay, so uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. Bye.